Okay. Cowgirls. Cowgirls get going for God. God bless you. Yahoo, ladies. I'm glad you're back. And we are, we left off on Romans 14.23, and I read that out of the King James Version, and now we're reading some more notes, and I believe this is probably, I'm in my teacher's guide here of Why Should I Study, which is the Good News Handbook for Cowgirls Get Going for God, and this is going to be, uh, it's out there on the internet, and I've got all year to put this together, and I'm not in a hurry, so maybe by the end of this year, and this guy changes things, I should have a, a complete uh, book on why on, uh, let me stop here for a minute, the, the doctrines, principles, principles of doctrine and faith, cowgirls get going for God, discipleship program. Okay. And we were stopping, it says, the Christian has liberty, which is freedom. The Christian has liberty to eat meat that has been previously offered and sacrificed to idols, but it would be evidently utterly wrong for him to eat if in so doing he offends a weaker brother. So we don't want to offend a weaker brother. Excuse me, my phone's going off now because, like I said, everything I do is at home, my house, so there's all these different noises that you hear. Okay, the expression for if anyone sees you have knowledge, we were talking about knowledge earlier. In the expression for if anyone sees that you have knowledge means if anyone sees you have full measure of Christian liberty who know that meat offered to idols is not unclean or impure. The important principle here is that we must not only consider what effects such an action would have on ourselves, but even more important, what effect it would have on others. So we're supposed to continually think about others, and you and I both know that we need God's grace to help us think of others, because that's very, very difficult to do a lot of times. And then in 1 Corinthians 8.11 it said, A man may so parade his knowledge of what legitimate for a Christian as to cause a brother in Christ to stumble. So we don't want to do anything that would cause our brother to stumble. And then in 8.12 it says, It's not just a matter of sinning against a brother in Christ or wounding his weak conscience. It constitutes sin against Christ himself. So... That's a sin against God. All right, whatever we do to the least of his brethren, we do to Jesus. We do to him. What hurts one of the members of the body hurts the head also. There are many things today in the Christian life, while not forbidden in the word of God, would yet cause needless offense to the weaker Christian, the weaker brother. While we might have the right to participate in them, 